what are the options for a bride when it comes to hair removal? The most popular obviously is waxing. Now I'm a little wary of waxing myself and I always recommend laser hair reduction. But if you still insist on taking your waxing sessions, then don't wait for the last minute. Make sure that you've taken your waxing sessions before, especially if you want to do full body waxing. Because we've seen a lot of reactions or acne-like eruptions post waxing sessions. That is why make sure that you've taken your waxing sessions well in time and your skin has got used to it. In fact, I'd suggest don't try any new procedure especially a procedure of hair removal, at least 15 days before your wedding. The next thing to do, which is relatively safer and something that I prefer after laser hair reduction is shaving. So you can razor your hair. Just make sure that you always do wet razor. Make sure to use a razor that is always in the direction of your hair. Use a fresh blade that you must and you get these specific razors for women. Use those for removal of your hair. And of course, laser hair reduction. Now, if you are a bride, you ideally should consider laser hair reduction at least six months before your wedding. So that you would have had at least four to five sessions. And there would have been at least a 40% reduction in the density, thickness and color of your hair. But if you're looking at it last minute, maybe two to three months before the wedding, then at least two to three sessions. And if you are a bride who is considering going abroad after marriage, then definitely four sessions. For others, you can at least start your laser hair reduction and continue it post your marriage.